Okay guys, uh, quick update. Um, so I, I, uh, I was out fishing yesterday and I, I put, put together a recap video uh, and I hadn't downloaded uh, the footage that I got uh, and I talked a little bit about the footage that I, that I thought I got. The unfortunate reality is I didn't get any footage at all. I, uh, I totally, it's uh, totally my fault. I totally bungled it. Um, I had the setting on uh, a camera, so every time I thought I was starting the video, I was just taking a picture. So I got all these really weird pictures of myself, uh, but, uh, but no footage at all. I am going to go ahead and, and give you the video uh, with the update on it. Uh, I feel like it's, it's worthwhile enough um, to release to you guys and let you see it. Uh, Hopefully it's helpful. If it's not, I'm sorry. Uh, you don't have to like it, uh, but uh, but I, I did just want to share it with you anyway. We did learn some things together. I wish I had the video of it uh, to show you, uh, but um, but the recap does talk a little bit about it, the baits that I use, the places, and I show you on, on electronics, uh, the spots on the lake um, that I was fishing, uh, just so you can see, okay, this is what was going on. Uh, so hope that helps. I am sorry I don't have the footage. It was totally, uh, totally my fault, and uh, hopefully that won't happen again. Take care, guys. Hey there, guys. Andrew, uh, again, giving you a quick update. We were we were fishing on the lake yesterday, and um, I I wanted to just kind of recap a little bit of what we found out. We did learn quite a bit together, and uh, I was delighted to bring you along. Um, I do apologize. I'm going to tell you in advance. Uh, I was able to get my father out fishing with me in the afternoon and that's when of course everything comes together. Everything makes sense. He's a little camera shy. We might get him on the camera eventually, but uh, we'll see. Um, and um, uh, but, it, but I do apologize the best, the, the, you know, when we really figured things out. Uh, my father was with me, and uh, and so we, we weren't filming at that time, but I did figure I'd, I'd give you a quick recap now. I've got, I'm sorry, it's just on a small electronics, but I've got a, a you know, a, a picture of the map here uh, of the lake, um, and um, I figured I'd go over a little bit of what we learned, where we found the fish, um, and uh, and just, just bring you along for that. Um, the key baits, I, I caught quite a few flipping. I caught uh, quite a few on a jerk bait. That was probably the biggest player, um, and um, the the jerk bait. Well, yeah, it was. It was the biggest player. And then the the uh, chatter bait, the jackhammer chatter bait, bait uh, caught a lot of them at the very end there. There was a spot where that was just clearly the best bait for it. I caught one on a swim bait. I caught them on a few different baits, but but it seemed like a spinner bait. I caught a few in the spinner bait early. You saw that. Um, but uh, it seemed like the the jerk bait was by far the best bait, bait. Uh, and then and then the chatter bait, the spinner bait, you know, a creature bait or a jig. Um, those those seem to be the you know the big players of the day. Um, <clears throat> quick recap: uh, we we went out in the morning and and we actually together we found the pattern. I didn't know it was the pattern at that time, uh, but we found the pattern. It, it's uh, pre-spawn. The water temperatures were a little warmer than I thought. They were in that 55, and by the end of the day, we got as high as 59 degrees, which is it's the warmest water I've seen yet. Um, it was pretty windy, uh, but we also are coming into a full moon. It's almost a full moon now, uh, and so what seems to happen to me is that the fish start moving up there. I know they're supposed to spawn. They move up they're not going to spawn this time around, um, so we're probably going to get a much bigger wave of them uh, on the next full moon, and the water temperature will probably be in that 63, 65 by that point, uh, maybe even a little warmer, but uh, we'll probably get a much bigger wave on the next full moon, and they're, they're not going to spawn yet, um, but uh, they're thinking about it. They know they're supposed to be moving up, the moon's right, the water is warming up, uh, and say, so they were staging is what we found. Um, so, so it seemed like, and I'll show you on the map what I'm talking about, but where we caught the most fish consistently was somewhere where it was, it was kind of a, a funnel in some way that, that brought the fish to uh, a staging area. So it was usually where the lake, it was a break where the lake dropped off and it was a key spot going into a spawning pocket. Now, I, I filmed a video the other day in the garage. I'm here in the garage. And um, and what you know, I, I could hear the chickens. I'm sure you can hear them. They're they're chirping, they're peeping. They're just down over the other side. My daughter wanted chickens in the worst way, so we have chickens. 
um, and they're just little baby chicks they're growing but they make a lot of noise so you're probably hearing that I'm sorry guys uh, that's just that's just the way it has to be um, uh, but anyway so so it was always on a break um, and staging up into a spawning area and they they seem to be a lot of them seem to be actually just over the break so it might drop off into 5 to 12 or 15 feet of water it seemed like most of those fish were actually in that 5 to 3 feet of water that was pretty consistent you know where these fish were but they were right on that break so if the lake dropped off they were right there on that break right on the edge of going into a spawning pocket uh, that was consistent we found them in quite a few places on the lake like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my handy dandy little pointer i'm going to take this camera off hopefully you don't get seasick while i do this take this camera off and just show you right here on the on the uh, you know the right unit uh, what what I was finding there there aren't really great depth contours of this lake uh, but I'll, I'll at least kind of explain what's going on so here let me take this off <clears throat> and we'll bring you along and show you show you what's happening okay let's see here let's see hopefully hopefully you guys can see this okay it's very small and i'm sorry so where we started i'm going to zoom this in let's see right here and this was kind of the pattern of the day right here let's find it right there and you see there's a few these these boat lines are from me from multiple times but this one right here was where we started and we caught quite a few fish and if you remember we caught them we were throwing a bait out and dragging it back that was a spinner bait and we caught them and then we turned around and we caught some more go pulling it this way and then we turned around and we caught we switched to a jerk bait and we caught quite a few coming back this way and so just looping back around spending some time we caught a lot of fish right there uh, in the morning uh, and then and then I went back into here and I really I had a new flipping rod that I wanted to to test out that was that was part of the problem uh, but I had a whole bunch of uh, baits um, let's see here now my camera it's uh it's okay I can't see it now from the back so let's see if we can I'm gonna trust that you can see this okay but okay here we go so right here um, so we, I went back up into this area, okay, and, and there were bushes to flip, and I flipped bushes, and we went all the way down here. There was bushes and trees, and we caught quite a few fish, not tons, but we still caught quite a few. Back down in this pocket, we caught, you know, three or four. Uh, why, I think they just, they just somehow migrated all the way back into this pocket, but we did catch a few going through here, but not that many. It seemed like they maybe hadn't moved up. They were staging, but hadn't moved up into the bushes yet. Later in the day, maybe they would have, but I, I was too busy fishing other things, so I, I didn't come back and flip those. Then we went out, and uh, and I, I tried, I figured, well, if they were in this area, maybe they'll be in this area. This is kind of another pinch point. I zoom in right here just a little bit. A pinch point, and I thought maybe, but they for some reason they were not in here at all. And this is an inlet right here. Um, so the water was coming in. I thought, nah, that's a good chance they'll be in there, but nothing. So then... I fished, let's see, what did I do? I went up here. I actually fished some of this, nothing, uh, because there was, there's actually a point and a point here and here. And I thought, well, eh, maybe they maybe they weren't here yet. They're back here, nothing. I went up here and I caught a real nice one on a chatterbait right there. There was some bushes and it's going right into this shallow pocket. And again, this is an inlet. And, uh, and we caught them all the way, right in the mouth. We caught a bunch of them right here um on a creature bait and then we went down along and we caught quite a few more and went all the way down to here nothing here we came back and we caught some more coming back out um and then uh and then um let's see then that's when my father joined me so we've got some footage of of some of this uh here but not all of it and then my father joined me and then there's no more video footage but i'll just explain uh, what we what really put it together, I thought, hmm, let's go to this side, if you see this side of the lake, and this is uh, deeper and clearer. This is shallower and more muddy over here. But we went over to this side, and I thought, there's something I really want to try to see if this pattern's playing out. If they're truly staging, they're going to be right here somewhere. This, you can't see it, but this is a shallow bar. They really, it's almost out of the water right here. 
And then this is super deep. It's deeper than 10 feet. It's super deep right here. So they, they follow this up. And then this is a super shallow spawning pocket, super shallow spawning pocket. And then there's another one right here as well. And there's only a teeny little entrance, a teeny little entrance and a teeny little entrance, and then just a, a way up in here. And so it was perfect. I came, I fished my way up, nothing, nothing, nothing. I got right to here and caught a bunch of them right there. Then I figured I'd go up and see if they were shallow. So I caught them all the way back to about here and that's where it stopped. I went all the way back, but nothing else. So I went back out, I caught a bunch more, I caught some more here, caught a whole bunch more right here, and then spent a little bit more time, caught some more, caught some more, and then I just moved on, caught some more right here, and went down and there's kind of a little point, caught some here, little point, caught some there, nothing right around here. So then I motored to another, another shallow pocket. And this, this is essentially, again, a kind of another spawning pocket. It's a little deeper here, but it kind of goes back to a spawning pocket. I caught a whole bunch more right at the entrance. And then I figured, okay, I'm going to try this. The wind was coming out of the, the, um, the northwest, so I, this was, I kind of wanted to get out of the wind a little bit. So I went down here, and this is, again, a super shallow, all up, like, from right here. This whole bay is shallow, but uh, from right here, it's like, I mean three, four feet of water and shallower. So I, I spent some time, I did uh, I did this loop here first, and I caught them, caught them, caught them, and right here, I caught a whole bunch more, and then I looped around again, and what I found, I paid real close attention, it was two degrees warmer here than on this side for some reason, I don't really know why, but more fish, they congregated right in here. And I caught them throughout, but a lot more right there. So that was our day, we had to pack it up after that, but just wanted you to see a little bit what was going on. Uh, I'm going to put this camera back here real quickly for you guys. Let's see there. See if you can see me all right. I think I need to tip it up just a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Um, so, so that was the day. Uh, but what we found is, again, the fish were staging up. So anywhere right on that break into the shallow uh, water... Uh, going into the into the pockets where they're going to spawn, that was the key consistently throughout the day. Um, you could catch them a few different you know a few different ways doing that, uh, but the jerk bait was the biggest one. And um, hope that helps. I hope you guys um, you know it helps you learn something. Uh, pay attention to that uh, in the future. And I did, as you saw, I did try different patterns throughout the day. And then by the end, once I put it all together, and we found the the right pattern on the first stop. But once I really put it all together, and part of me, I was just being a little hard-headed. I wanted to catch some fish with the new flipping rod, and I did, but it just, it was not the pattern. But I did try other patterns, uh, and when that didn't work, I, I figured it out. Uh, and then we just ran from spot to spot to spot on the lake as I knew, oh, geez, this, this one's just like the last one. This one's just like the last one. And they were, and every single one of those... Uh, they were in the same spot. Now, there, there was that, the second spot I went to, I pointed out that they just weren't in there. And that is, that can be, that can be tough to, when you're putting a pattern together, when the pattern breaks down on one of them, um, don't give up on it quite yet. Uh, if I had stopped there, I wouldn't have caught a lot more fish. I, I would have, that kind of would have ended my day. But I tried it again, and, and sometimes, and I don't know why, but sometimes the fish just aren't in one of these pockets. I'm sure they will be in that pocket eventually, uh, but they just weren't there yet. Um, so so just because you didn't find them in one pocket and you found them in another one, don't quit on it. Try another one. Try another one. And if it doesn't work, look for another pattern. Um, so hope that helps, guys. Real excited to get to take you along. It was fun to learn something together. Uh, and that's the name of the game. I mean, I'm always trying to learn something from, from you guys, from everyone else, from books, from time on the water uh, from other videos uh, but hopefully that helps you guys and uh, and uh, we can all learn together take care